We see the headlines every day. 62 million girls not in school. Continued uh, violence against women. Uh, the gender pay gap that still exists really around the world. We must seize Geneva's unique multilateral advantage and push ourselves to think innovatively to really come together with creative solutions. So what we've done at the mission is we've come up with a new cross-cutting initiative focused on protecting and empowering women and girls, and it's called The Future She Deserves. We've been bringing together key diplomats, agency heads, industry experts, and business leaders around the same table, really forcing uh, each other to think outside the box. These are powerful decision makers. We believe that by working together across sectors, men and women, that we can drive toward innovative solutions and really have a profound impact. International Geneva is really coming together around these gender issues. In fact, inspired by the future she deserves, the U.S. mission in collaboration with UN Geneva recently launched a new leadership network called Geneva Gender Champions. It's really inspiring how quickly Geneva Gender Champions has taken root here in the community. We already have more than 70 ambassadors and heads of international organizations who have committed to this leadership network. These are not just symbolic commitments. These are concrete commitments that are gonna really drive change. For example, Secretary General Zhao has made women's digital empowerment and their full participation in the digital society one of his key gender champion commitments. I think ICTs, more than any other tool, have the power to really transform societies. And we really have a responsibility to bring women and girls further into this sector. The work that, I, that the ITU does in bringing together all the major international players engaged in enabling communications is so important. And especially in this complex, interconnected world that we're living in now, more than ever, we really need to increase women and girls' access to and um, use of ICTs. Future She Deserves is driving us to dig deeper, to better understand where the blockages are. It's been 20 years since Beijing, and we're still so far from where we need to be. We need to stop doing business as usual when we know that we can do better.